Hello again, everyone. I am here today with a flip through of my planned journal setup for 2021. I realized I had some other notebooks in the frame there <laughs> and I have some little scraps of paper. Uh, so I teased this on the channel recently, but now I'm actually going to do the full flip through. Uh, as of the time of this filming, I have not started in on my calendar because uh, the calendar that I have in here actually starts on, in January. So I'm still waiting to start it. But I will also do a little bit of a comparison between um, my new setup and my old setup, old current setup at the, <laughs> at the time of filming. Uh, they're both a B6 Slim. This one's obviously a little bit thicker. Um, I've done, you know, quite a few flip throughs of this. I will put a link down below to my recent uh, flip through of my bullet journal in here. And I will put a link to the original flip through that I did of this entire setup. I uh, am currently in this uh, I want, keep wanting to say Burgundy, but it was rebranded re as as Drummond uh, from Chic Sparrow. I love this color. I will definitely come back to this particular notebook. I think that my favorite notebooks of this year have been this one and uh, my Buttered Rum Cascade, sort of back to basics a little bit. Um, but I love them both and uh, I'll always be coming back to them. And I have this little uh, bead from Summer Wind Art, which is uh, super lovely. I This one, I don't know what happened to it. I think I scuffed it on something and it got some little marks on it, but it really doesn't bother me. It makes it look a little bit more rustic. And I just think that this gray, reddish pink goes really well with the burgundy. But anyway, enough about my current setup. This is supposed to be a flip through of my future 2021 setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through here and then I'll do a brief comparison so the first thing you might notice is this. So this is a speckled fonts, I should say, <laughs> first off. So this is a speckled fonts and it's sort of a special edition notebook that is, is certainly not currently available. And I don't know if it's ever going to be available again in the future. So this is made out of the Chatelaine leather, which is uh, fairly thin and light. Um, even though this has a lot going on in here, it's pretty light. It is the B6 Slim Wallet. And um, I do plan to try out combining my wallet and my bullet journal, and I'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, I may end up switching to a different notebook or, you know, back into one of my Chic Sparrow B6 Slims. But I, I'm going to try it out because I have all of these card pockets in the back here. I have a zipper pocket. This notebook is amazing. I actually love this so much. I didn't set it up yet with my wallet stuff. I just have it set up with with my bullet journal and calendar. I didn't set it up with my wallet stuff because I currently have my wallet in my wallet setup. <laughs> and I can't really move into this until the calendar starts. So, but one of the first things you'll notice here is that the, the speckled fonts is a little bit narrower, although this is chunked up. So they kind of look about the same size, but when they are not chunked up, and even now you can tell, um, the Chic Sparrow is a little bit wider side to side, uh, and it, this particular notebook was never going to fit this current setup, which is really super thick, which has a Jaboon Techo and a Cafe Notes in it. So, um, but when I decided to slim down my, uh, setup for 2021, or at least try that out to see how it works, I immediately thought of this notebook because I love this notebook and I have been trying to find a use for it forever. Um, even if I end up moving out of it, I am never going to get rid of this notebook because it has just a beautiful uh, sort of antiquing die on it. Uh, this is really dark compared to a lot of other Chatelaine type leathers I've seen. A lot of them are also looking a little bit more orange and this looks a little bit more brown and um, you know, with a little bit of a halo of darker color, which I really love. So this, but this notebook does not have a pen loop, but it does have a front pocket, which I love. And so one of the differences is instead of having two different writing utensils here on pen loops, one that's attached to the Chic Sparrow notebook and one that I've added, 
I am storing my writing utensils in the front pocket. So the writing utensils that I plan to use here, I will go ahead and take these out. So this is my uh, Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini in green. And uh, I really, really love these pens. They're, they're really good writing, even though I think they're, the nib is probably a little bit thin for, for my liking. This is a medium fine and the minis only come in a medium fine unless you get a special edition or something. And usually those aren't available in the US or haven't been in a while. Uh, but the medium fine is what this is and pretty much all other minis are medium fine but it still writes really, really great. And I actually have found that the smaller nib is really great for writing in small spaces, which may come in handy in both my calendar and my bullet journal. So we will see. So that's what I'm gonna use for writing in my bullet journal and um, writing in my collections journal, which is in here, which I'll show you. So the other pen that I have in here is sort of a business version of the friction uh, erasable pen. So this has a little click mechanism here and I have filled it with, I believe it's a 0.7 point and I think it's a teal um, refill that's in here. And this is, this tends to have kind of a wet ink, but I have put a piece of blotter paper in here. So I'll just put the piece of blotter paper. If, if the ink is still wet, I'll just, I'll just put that piece of blotter paper in there. But this is what I plan to use for the most part in my calendar portion because um, this is erasable. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned, I think I have mentioned before that because this year was such a disaster, I ended up having to cross out so many things that got canceled or rescheduled or whatever. And my calendar just ended up looking really messy. So I'm gonna try this and see how it works. Um, I kind of like how it writes, but you know, it's not my absolute favorite pen. If I could have like an erasable fountain pen, that would probably be the best of both worlds. But I don't, I don't know that anybody makes an ink that's erasable. That would be kind of fun if you could do that. That would be permanent until you don't want it to be, and then it could be erasable. I don't know. And then I have this friction erasable highlighter as well, and it's just in a gray. And this is something I'm just gonna test out. I haven't really uh, been using a highlighter, but I'm gonna test it out and see if I like using it. And if I do, I'll keep it in here. And if not, I'll probably just go back down to these two. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay. And then I'll probably put a lot of the things that I have in my pockets in this one in here. Um, so just like my stencils, my washi tape, my little decorative stickers, I'll probably just put those all here. And um, I have another little black Ollie clip. So one of the biggest differences is I have a much smaller notebook compared to my um, cafe notes here. And part of that is because this is just going to be the collections in my bullet journal. So I've already kind of labeled some some um, collections that I wanna put in here. I have not transferred them over yet, but I will before the beginning of January. Um, so, so far I just have shows, movies to watch, monthly services where I keep track of, you know, our monthly bills, uh, restaurants to try. <laughs> That's probably gonna be put on hold still for a little while. Um, art project ideas, that's one that I've added to quite a bit. Therapy notes for my therapy sessions. Um, everybody, you know, there should be no stigma to therapy. I think it helps everyone and I think everyone should probably be in therapy, just FYI. Um, and then I have an art supply wish list. So, so those are the, the ones that I've been using quite frequently here in my bullet journal. So I'm gonna transfer them in here. I haven't figured out you know, how many pages I want to allot for each one yet. Usually I just do like a two page spread and then if I have to go, if I, if I want a longer list, I can always start it again on another page and then just continue from there. And these pages are not numbered yet other than the few that I've, that I've numbered and this doesn't have anything else other than the index because I haven't put anything. So I'm going to try to figure out, I have a page numberer machine or like, you know, one of those little kachunk kachunk <laughs> page numbers. That's, that's the official name of it. So I might go through and do that. This is a pretty thick Tomoe River notebook. Um, and I think I got this from the Taroko shop. I think it's either Taroko shop or, um, 
Paper Penguin Co. Uh, but it's a pretty thick one. It has quite a few pages, even though it is thinner than this one. But my idea is that I would have this as a collections notebook that would go back and forth um, year after year potentially if, if this system works out. So um, so that's the biggest difference there. And then instead of the Jaboon Techo, which I have in my current one, I have the Jaboon Days Diary. So in here I've already put some things uh, that, that aren't sensitive or anything. So uh, and that's actually March. Let's see. Because I've tried to kind of front load this. So for January, we've got that. I'll put that. And then we, we will have the days portion, which I filled out some of the days. Uh, basically, I have um, just put some events that happen. Uh, and I've used the erasable pen in here as well. Basically, the only place that I've been using the fountain pen is in the collections so far, but I may end up using the fountain pen here too. I'm not sure how it will work on this paper because this is thinner than the than the biz, which the Techo biz, which I've been using this year, which works great with with fountain pen ink. But um, I just ha I just haven't tried fountain pen ink on this paper yet, so we'll see. But my plan is to have sort of a checklist type thing. Um, this this will essentially be you know, what I have as my bullet journal will be this little section here. And then if I have appointments or something, I will put them on the calendar over here. And I've been thinking of, this may be a little too big. Oh, I don't know. Um, Cause I thought that, so this is a little cal or a, not calendar, it's a clock stamp that I purchased from Yoseka Stationery. And I thought, I kind of measured out, and I thought that it would be about the right size for, for this space here. And then I thought maybe I could do that every day and still keep track of my sleep schedule. Um, I think it's probably the right size um, to fit in this little area here because they, they have given equal amount of time to each of the hours of the day, where as opposed to um, in the, let me see if I can find a section that I haven't really used. This one's almost full, so. It's hard to find an unused week. Oh, this is fine. So um, you can just see my canceled massage. <laughs> so in this one, they have sort of a truncated calendar schedule for the hours of the early morning and evening. And this is where I used to use the uh, stencil from Jaboon for uh, putting the little calendar or the little, I keep calling it a calendar, putting the little clock in here and keeping track of my sleep. But I thought that I might do the same thing and just have it be a little bigger <laughs> with this one. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I could, if I like it, I might just end up you know, stamping multiple pages at a time so I can keep track of that. Um, but that's basically why I got this stamp so that I could use it with this and see how that goes. And because I don't generally have work things planned beyond um, the regular work day, like in the middle of the night. Some people that work like swing shifts or night shifts, this calendar would probably work really well for you as opposed to the other one, just because you have um, an equal amount of room for each of the hours. So it doesn't necessarily prioritize the uh, regular work day that, you know, sort of the nine to five thing. So, uh, so that's the plan. And we'll see if this is enough room for every day to use as a bullet journal. Like I said, I have not been um, using a ton of room every day currently. And I think if I find that I'm running out of room, what I may do, because sometimes what I'll do in my bullet journal is I will just, you know, write notes or, um, or you know, just sort of do some free form journaling that might not be, be as long as I would do in an actual like diary type journal. But, uh, you know, if something's really upsetting me that day or something, I will put it down in my bullet journal. This is not going to be enough room for that. So I think what I might do is in my collections have like a notes section or, you know, just pick the next available page and put some notes in there and then just label it as, you know, notes up here. Um, so I might do that. It's, I'm still going to be working out the system. So we'll we'll see. And, um, you know, this is all just days through the end here. 
Oh, let me actually put my bookmark on the first day there so that I can have that. I don't think I had that there. Okay, month days. And uh, I think I mentioned in my video where I went through the um, the uh, set the setup of this compared to the Jaboon Techo Biz, I really like how the tracker is here underneath. So I'll definitely be using the tracker. And I don't think I have more than, you know, one, two, three, you know, eight things to track. The other one I think has a little bit more space. One thing that I think I neglected to mention is because this is down here, your, um, your little squares, they're actually now rectangles for each day of the month. Are, you don't have as much room to write things in the individual day of the month. So that is, I mean, that is something that's a potential issue, but you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So there's that. And then, like I said, I plan to put my wallet, uh, everything that I have in my wallet here. I don't have a um, zipper pouch in here because I plan to put what's in this zipper pouch in this zipper pouch, which is right here. And there's actually even another slot right here. So I plan to put cash here and then change or whatever in here and then whatever else I can fit from that. Um, I'm hoping it'll all fit. I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to switch everything over until I was really ready to start the calendar here. The regular Jaboon Techo and the biz like I have in here starts, uh, I think it starts at the end of November. So you actually get an extra month than you do in the diary. This one, cause this one is strictly starting in January. So that was something that was a little different this year. Cause usually I start to migrate things over at the end of November, but I think that's pretty much it. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how it works. I'm really excited about it. This is much lighter then this is obviously if I'm going to be putting some more stuff from in here and in my wallet, it'll probably get a little heavier, but even with that, it's still going to be much lighter. I'm hoping I can fit this in most bags that I use. I'm really, really hoping that in 2021, we can kind of get back to some semblance of normal at some point, you know, if not, <laughs> maybe hopefully by the fall, I'm hoping, um, we'll see. I mean, it just really depends on vaccine distribution and all that kind of thing. If you're seeing this, you know, at a different time, this is pandemic times, y'all. Like if, if you don't remember the pandemic, uh, you probably were not really paying attention. <laughs> um, either that or you were born late. Um, but anyway, I think that's all I wanted to share with you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you have any questions about this setup or even my old setup, feel free to ask below and I'll answer when I can. And uh, I think that's it. So have a great day and I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.